I need y'all to make the loudest shout you've ever made in your life. This ain't my friend. This ain't my peer. This is family. My sister, the one and only, one of the most anointed voices of this generation. I can't hear y'all. I can't hear y'all. I can't hear y'all. I still can't hear you. Columbia, make some noise for the one and only Pastor Tasha Cobb Lena! Make you put your phone down. Mountains are still being moved. Strongholds are still being loosed. Now I believe. Cause now I can see that wonders are still what you do. Bodies are still being raised. Giants are still being slain. Now I believe, cause now I can see that wonders are still what you do. Cause we are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. You got it. Set our hearts on you. Come and do what you do. You'll say, because we need a move. We need a move. Let me do that verse again, baby. And bodies are still being raised.
Spirit began to speak to me just concerning what was going to happen in this room tonight. There was something, there was something very peculiar about our generation. Um, we have a boldness like none other. We have a transparency like none other. Um, we ain't scared of nothing. And, um, that's the front line generation that God is going to use. I'm sorry, let me say that again. That God is using to, to birth this fresh wind that's happening in the body of Christ. And so it's a few things that's going to happen tonight. Bodies are getting healed tonight. So listen, tonight is going to be real prophetic. I might not sing your song. Shake it off. Pack it under your feet. Because we're going to do what God wants to do. So we open with that prayer intentionally. Because we came just for him to do exactly what he wants to do. All right. So bodies are being healed tonight. I need you to say it. Bodies are being healed tonight. Minds are being set free tonight. We come against every suicidal thought we come against depression and rejection we come against anxiety in this room the enemy knows that we're bold and we are tenacious 
And so the, the way that he wants to stop you is by attacking your mind, but we come against that now in the name of Jesus. You will remain focused on your assignment and your purpose in the earth, and God is causing those chains to be broken off of your mind. Who am I talking to in this room? Hallelujah. Somebody's going to get a fresh start, a restart tonight. I declare that salvation is happening in this room tonight. Deliverance is, y'all ain't saying nothing. I need you to say it. Deliverance is happening in this room tonight. So let's go hard. We're going to go real hard for Jesus for the next 30 minutes. All right? If you got to take your shoes off. Okay, wait. But don't take off nothing that's inappropriate. Just keep your shirt on. Keep your jeans. <laughs> You can take off your glasses, your headband, and your hair, but don't take off your shirt. All right, let's go. There's a river. Anybody wanna go back to the river? Let's go, baby. Woo! Just scream right there. Let's go. Take me back to the river where I first believed. Take me back to that moment where freedom I received. Heaven knows where I would be if it wasn't for your mercy. My sins are now forgotten, yet you remember me. You'll say, Johnson and y'all don't know nothing about it. I, I 
grew up listening to the candy spirituals and we all at where my quartet lovers at but pastor travis i remember they would clap until they got happy y'all remember that i mean the songs would last for two hours y'all don't know nothing about it so i need you to put your hands together like we got some wooden floors put your hands
reaches to the highest and it flows to the lowest. Said it reaches to the highest <laughs> and it flows to the lowest. Doesn't matter where you are, it'll find you. Doesn't matter what you're in, it will find you. And it's right here to find you. No matter how far you go, it will find you. No matter what you've done, it will find you. <laughs> Oh, I hear that in the room, I came to find you. I hear the Lord saying, I came tonight to find you. I hear that in the room, he says he came to find you. Oh God, he came to find you. You make your bed in hell, he will find you. If you go to the utmost parts of the earth, he will find tonight there you know sometimes there are some things that we give up freely say hey God you can take that but I don't want to I don't want that no more but then there are some things that we just want to hold on to I, I, I enjoy this right now too much I, you know I, I'm enjoying them too much right now so I want to hide this from you but tonight those walls are coming down And somebody's prayers, let your blood come and find me. <laughs> God, let your blood come and wash me. Woo! Lord, let your blood come and wash me. <laughs> Somebody make that your prayer. God, let your blood come and wash me. <laughs> He's doing it right now. He's doing it right now. Wash me. <laughs> He's doing it right now. He's doing it right now. Oh, Jesus, 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 oh, Somebody say what you need to say to him. He's right here for you, God. He's right here for you. God, wash me in your blood. Wash me in your blood. God, cleanse me in your blood and make me over again. Oh, somebody make that your prayer. He's listening. He's listening. He's listening. He's listening. Wash me. Wash me. Wash me in your blood. Wash me over again. God, wash me over again. I'm giving it all to you. We give it all to you. We give it all to you. Woo, that's it, y'all.
our prayer. So take all I have in these hands and multiply. God, come on. All that I am and find my heart on the altar again. Set me on fire. Set me on fire. Here I am, God, with my arms wide open. I'm right here. Come on. Pour it. Your name, your mighty love stands strong to the end. You will fulfill your purpose in me. You won't forsake me. You will be with me. So here I I'm strong when I am I will be free Your power at work in Come on I'm broken I'm strong when I'm weak I'm strong when I am I will be free Say it again Your power at work in I'm broken I'm strong when I'm weak Let's shout it out. Your power and power. Your power and I'm broken gracefully. I'm strong and I'm weak. I will be free. Say it again to your power. Your power and I'm broken gracefully. I'm strong and I am weak. I will be. So here I am. God, you say with my heart.
y'all to go hard. That's what I was just saying in the spirit. And the Lord took me to the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know, he said to me, he said, the heat that you're sensing right now 
is symbolic of what's been happening in some of your life. Some of y'all been feeling like you in the hot seat, like, Lord, if you don't move today, stuff's gonna fall apart. Who am I talking to in this room? I know I'm in this room. Some of y'all been feeling like you in the hot seat. And guess what the Lord said to me? Just like he's standing in this room with you, he was in the fiery furnace. And I love this, Pastor Travis. The Bible says, the Bible says that they came out and they were not burned, but it didn't say that they didn't feel the heat. Some of y'all are just in the hot seat, but God ain't gonna let you burn up. Some of y'all feeling the heat because it's pruning you and processing you and making you, but you will not burn. You will not. It's not going to burn you up. I need somebody to open your mouth, get your feet off the ground, and give God praise because that situation, you will not die there. You will not die there. You will not die there. I need you to turn to about three people and tell you, tell them you won't die there. You won't die. You will not die here. You will not. This is a pruning phase. It's a it's a process, but you won't die in the you won't die in the process. I said you won't die in the process. Some of y'all still looking at me. I need you to prophesy to those people that's standing around you and tell them you won't die in this process. It's just a process. It's,
and it's the clapping of the hands. And I know in church, we clap our hands a lot to transition moments, but that's not what it's for. When you clap your hands, the taqwa praise means when I put my hands together, I'm nailing down every prophetic word. Y'all got it. I'm nailing down every prophetic word that's been spoken over my life. I need somebody to put your hands on it and seal the deal. Clap your hands up. Believe it over here. I'm getting ready to see. What you getting ready to see? What? Something I've never seen. Do your hands like this and say, God's about to blow my. Listen, I, uh, Pastor Travis can attest to this. We go all around the world and we're praying for the people that we're about to minister to. A lot of times we're not even thinking that this is about to hit my house. Like, most of the time we're, we're thinking, hey, God, just blow the minds of your people. But we start prophesying over your lives, and the more we, the more we say it out of our mouths, the more it starts happening in our lives. I wasn't even, listen, I wasn't even thinking. I was going around the world just saying, God's about to blow my mind. And I wasn't thinking he was about to blow my mind. I was thinking he was about to blow your mind. Then God started blowing my mind. Why? Because according to Mark 11 and 23, we have whatsoever we say. I need you to say it over your life. God's about to blow. His eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard. The kind of blessings, the kind of blessings that's about to fall on me. Oh yeah, yeah, cause victory is here. He can defeat out the door. God's doing a new thing, a brand new thing, and I'm ready for overflow. Somebody scream in this room. Say one more time, eyes haven't seen, you declare it, and ears haven't heard, what, the kind of blessing, the kind of blessing, take your hand and do it like this, that's about to fall. Come on. That's about 
victory is here. Let's go. This victory. Kick the feet out the door. Kick the feet out. You got it. The kind of blessing. Let's go right here. That's about to fall on me. Cause victory is here. Victory is here. What happened? It kicked the feet out the door. Kicked the feet out the door. God's gonna know me. Oh yes, he is. Get ready, yeah. Get ready for overflow. You got it. Cause I'm getting ready. 
singing a song one night, and God does this thing sometimes where I'm singing to him, and he sings back to me. He bad. No, no, he don't. Y'all scared? I'm too country for y'all. I said, he is dope. So I thought I was singing real pretty. I kept saying, God, you know that I'm You know. He sang back to me, Pastor. He said, I'm about to do it. Yeah. Listen, I thought I was losing my mind, so I sang it again. I said, God, you can blow my mind. He said, I'm about to do it. Pastor Travis, I don't know what the vision is. I don't know what the dream is. And I don't know what the prophecy is over this house. But I heard the Lord say, you've been praying. You've been fasting. You've been waiting. You've been consecrating. And it wasn't time then, but it is time now. And I heard him say, I'm about to do it. He speaks it over the head. He speaks it over the body. I wish somebody in this room would receive the word of the Lord. God's about to do. So proud of you. So proud. 
kid your dwelling place I wanna put a smile on your face So I breathe in my You got it Heart to you Oh Lord, yeah. And I breathe in I'm not ready for you to leave yet. I want to do something real quick. I want your mom to come here. No. And I want my mom to come here. And wherever mom's sin is, I want her to come here. If she's in the building. So there's something that the Lord was speaking to me in that moment. And I actually want you two to lay hands on, on Pastor Tasha. And the Lord says, these are, these are women who birthed greatness. 
and here's specifically what the Lord says. He said that in this season that he's preparing you to birth greatness. That you will, you will birth greatness both in the physical and in the spiritual. I'm take it. It's for you and Kenny. I want y'all to lay hands on her. And this is what the Lord said. It was so peculiar. He said, um, he said, there's one word that defines you and that's faithful. And there's many who just know the Tasha now. I had the privilege of knowing the Tasha then over 10 years ago when you were just a girl from Jessup, Georgia, and I was just a boy from Warner Robins, Georgia, and no one knew our names but these women. <laughs> and we were excited about any opportunity God gave us. Um, but the Lord says that even in that time, you've been faithful. You've honored every covering. You've honored every transition. And, um, and then I just heard this, and I, we pray for you, but this is my first time hearing this. And he says, you've even been faithful in the present. That there's been things God has told you to do, even with different artists and different things that people have questioned, but you did it out of obedience to, and faithfulness to him. So here's what the Lord say. I want you to lay hands on this And this is what I heard. And I, you couldn't make this up, but this is what I heard. And I don't even know what it means. He says he will use you and Kenny to birth a new genre. I, don't, I literally don't even know what that means. But he says that you will birth a new genre of music because of your faithfulness. He's found you trustworthy for greater. If you're not too mean, stretch your hands. Come on, and I want you to just lift up intercession. We come against every fiery dart. We come against every attack of the enemy. We come against every strategic diabolical plan now in the name of Jesus. We bring protection to your marriage, protection to your future. Now in the name of Jesus, you are fertile ground, the Lord said. There my shit You are fertile ground, the Lord said. And it will use you to birth new things, new things, new songs, creativity, a new genre. Come on. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. You were birthed in the natural. You were birthed in the spiritual. Says the Lord. I need you to lift up worship in this room. I said I need you to lift up worship in this. Hey! Lift up worship in this room. You still not loud enough. Lift up worship. New things, birth, new things, push, new things. God said, that's what you've been feeling. You've been in the ninth month, but you're almost there. My shit, you're almost there. You're still not loud enough, church. Lift up a warfare. So, hey, hey. things, new things, new visions, new dreams, come forth, come forth, come forth, new sounds, new business, come forth in the name of Jesus. Hey! Get ready for overflow. Get ready. Get ready. You get ready. You get ready. You get ready. Get your jars and don't get a few. Get ready. Get your jars and don't get a few. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. I need you to lift your hands all over this room. There are things you've been waiting on. You stepped in a Kairos moment. Jacob says, surely the Lord is here. And I didn't even know it. You are standing in Bethel. I need to lift your hand. 
open your heart and let the spirit of the Lord speak to you even now forget the former things behold I do a new thing behold I do a new thing Pastor Simeon he's doing a new thing even in your church revival at the brook revival at the brook revival and outpouring of his spirit come on come on come on lift your voice lift your voice for some of you 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 found yourself in a routine you don't need a visitation you need a habitation You don't need church, you need an encounter. And some of y'all like me, you can't wait for Sunday. You need to feel the Spirit of God on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I need an altar in my bedroom. I need an altar in my prayer closet. Come on. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm desperate for more. As the dear pass on, so my soul longs for you. I need somebody who's ready for more than just shout in this room now. Hey, am I shaking? I said shout in this room now. I said shout in this room now. I said shaking. I said shout in this room now. What if I told you that this next praise is going to unlock your miracle? I need somebody to take 60 seconds. Take 60 seconds and lose your cool. Forget where you at just for a moment. And pray them like what you've been waiting on has come to find you tonight. I need a miracle. I need a breakthrough. I need a miracle. You got 30 more seconds. Don't look at me. Look at him. Look at your breakthrough. Look at your miracle. Look at your healing. Feel old school up in here. Hey! Hey! I need you to high five seven people and tell them it already happened. It already happened. It already happened. It already. It already happened. Check the X-ray again. It already happened. Do one more blood test. It already happened. It already happened. If you believe it, you wouldn't be looking at me like that. We got to get out here, but I'm telling you what I'm telling you what I'm telling you. Melly, it ain't on the way. It already happened. Already, already, already. Already, already, already. You felt the wrong neighbor. Find somebody else and rock them and shake them and shake them and rock them and tell them already, 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 already.
The only way you can chill right now, if you if you hadn't been waiting on nothing, if you hadn't been expecting nothing, if you ain't got no seed in the ground, but if you've been waiting, you can't even keep your cool right now. yourself to sleep they don't know it took your last twenty dollars to put it in your tank and get here tonight they don't know all the hell and how long have you been through but since i'm here i'm gonna give god what he deserves Check it again, just check it again, just check it again, check it again, check it again, check that doctor's report again, check that credit report again. Check it again.
I promise I'm gonna let you go. But I keep hearing them, I keep hearing them, I keep hearing them. Tell two people, y'all, I'm gonna tell two people, welcome to the other side. Welcome. Welcome to, this is what freedom feels like. This is what victory feels like. This is what healing feels like. This is what wholeness feels like. This is what breakthrough feels like. Welcome.